What's up? I'm here again with another artist interview. And today I have Stephen Stanley. How are you, Stephen? Hello, glad to be here. Yeah, I'm glad you're here. So you're coming for not one, but two of our shows this weekend. On Friday, you're going to be in Mansfield. And on Saturday, or Sunday, you're going to be in Bell Fountain. And so you're on tour with Jordan Felice. It's the Next to Me tour. So we're going to talk about that. We're going to get to know you a little bit better and just have some fun. Yeah, absolutely. Have some fun. All right. So let's get started with the beginning. Who is Stephen Stanley? How did he get started in music? Well, uh, one quick little funny thing. So coming to Mansfield, Ohio on Friday, uh, the town I live in in Georgia is also called Mansfield. So that's a little fact, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I got started. I, I started playing in church. Uh, my dad's a, a pastor. So I started playing music after uh, um, uh, an injury to my left ear. I, I lost hearing in my ear when I was nine years old. And uh, I started playing music then. Um, it was it was very hard for me to like play outside uh, after that accident. You know, my inner ears were off, so I was very dizzy. Um, my mom had an old guitar and. Uh, she taught me how to play and uh yeah i just i just kept on playing my dad was a pastor so i started uh playing music for the children's church uh and they used to boot me uh in the <laughs> in the children's church and then uh <laughs> then i they really did that's not a joke they they actually booed me children and uh <laughs> then i moved up into uh you know the youth group and and then eventually on to you know the adult services and just led worship and when i was about 15 i wanted to start writing songs and and i did and eventually i did, i just kept on going and i'm still doing it today so yeah so you released a song called no hopeless soul went out to this radio one. it's an awesome song can you tell me how that came about how you got it to radio and the meaning behind the song yeah sort of the meaning behind the song was it it, it came a lot uh from hearing the same story over and over again uh you know my dad being a pastor um you know i kind of was aware of a lot of the issues that were going on in the church and, and a lot of the problems that people were having. And, um, you know, the story that I'd hear over and over again is, uh, I'm not good enough or, um, what I've done or, or what somebody has done to me or, or, or what has happened to me ha has made me unable to go to church, uh, you know, walk in the, through the doors of a church, talk to somebody about it, you know, talk to my family about it. And, um, it's really a song about about shame and guilt and that being something that Jesus can take away from us because none of us are hopeless and none of us are hopeless because of Jesus. Um, and yeah, so no, not, not all my songs are so like pastoral, but I, I love that that one is, is such like a picture of the gospel and what Jesus did for us is, is saying that you are not hopeless. You know, there, there's a way. Um, and, and as far as, as far as getting that song on the radio, that is, uh, the craziest thing that's ever happened to me. So I don't know how that happened, <laughs> so, <laughs> but it was really awesome. And, you know, I appreciate you guys and, and everything. It's, it's been, it's been crazy. How did you get discovered? Um, so a friend of mine, um, he, he's been with me for like five years now. Um, he's a producer and, and a songwriter and uh, his name is Mitch Parks and he basically worked with me for, for several years, um, you know, taught me how to write a song, taught me a lot about, you know, the, the, the actual process of, of writing and recording a song as well. And, um, yeah, so he just stuck with me and then, uh, eventually we got this EP done. Uh, it just had like five songs on it. And he sent it to a guy in Nashville as like a booking agent. That booking agent, you know, sent it to somebody else and they sent it to somebody else. And um, this was mid 2019 ish. And then um, in 2020, January 2020, before all the craziness, uh, <laughs> I got uh, I signed with Capital. And uh, yeah, it was very, very strange uh, process. Uh, 
you know, at that time I hadn't, you know, some, a lot of people mentioned my TikTok or, or Instagram or anything, but that, none of that, I wasn't doing any of that yet. So that was kind of mid, uh, 2020 when I started doing that, but, um, but yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's fantastic. So I know you guys are currently on the next to me tour and we're one of your last stops, I believe. So how has the tour been and what can people expect? Oh, it's been awesome. It's been, uh, Jordan's band is like literally the best band I've ever seen in my life. Uh, <laughs> it's just like for us, like opening, it's just me and a drummer and we showed up and, and the first day we watched their show and uh, their concert and we were just blown away because they are so talented. And, uh, I, if you, if you come, you can expect a really, really, really awesome, great time um you know and and some great talking and 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 um and worship at the same time but also lots of dancing because jordan police is music very danceable <laughs> oh yeah oh yeah <laughs> that's awesome so can you give us a little hint at what other songs you're gonna be playing i'm hoping no hopeless soul right oh yeah no we can't awesome you know, it's not a stephen stanley show we don't play right hopeless, but yeah <laughs> <laughs> we'll play we'll play a new one too called the heat uh, that i just put out um but yeah it's gonna be fun I, the, the other ones are top secret i can't tell you what what else the song okay play, <laughs> <laughs> gotta be all mysterious right <laughs> <laughs> <That's really funny. laughs> well i think it's gonna be a lot of fun i think people are really gonna enjoy your music and i'm so glad you're on the tour with jordan felice um me too that's gonna be amazing so let's just go through a couple questions unrelated um okay just to kind of get to know you a little bit better so first dead or alive who would be your dream collab Ooh, ooh, that's hard uh uh Oh, geez. Oh, uh, Lionel Richie. Yeah. Oh, that's a good one. I like yeah, that. Yeah. Lionel Richie. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> if you weren't a recording artist, what job would you do? Uh, I think maybe I'd want to do something with film, like like movies and stuff. Um, but yeah, no, I'd still probably try to do music somehow. But <laughs> yeah, something with film. Gotcha. Do you have a family? Can you tell us about your family? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I have a wife and we've been married for five years as of this past August. And we have two dogs. We have an English bulldog and a Sharpe. So. <laughs> that is awesome. I love that. Yeah. Very cool. Okay. And all right. When you're out on tour, what is something that you get to experience that you're like i never knew this was going to happen yeah uh, well th- so this is really my first experience being on tour you know doing the, the whole bus thing and um i i think i didn't think that i would because the first couple nights like you don't sleep because the bus you know you're you're on the bunk on the bus and you're just like moving around and stuff I don't know how people sleep, but I found out that if you take a Tylenol uh, and <laughs> and you just lay there and you kind of think of it like, you know, like uh, how you rock a baby, you know, back yeah. and forth. And it goes, if you think about it like that, you go right to sleep. So, <laughs> so yeah, that's good. That's good. <laughs> that's awesome. OK, well, last question. What? What projects are you working on? What do you hope to release in the future? Tours, music? Um, well, I actually have, so today is Tuesday. I have a brand new song coming out on Friday. Uh, oh. We haven't announced it yet or anything, but yeah, so in like three days, we have a, a new song coming out. So the so day very, that you come to us in Mansfield. Yes, yeah, that very same day I've got to, so y'all get to see me uh, freak out a little bit. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> that's fantastic <laughs> <laughs> oh we're gonna have fun though we're gonna have fun oh fun. yeah for sure awesome well hey it has been so good talking to you getting to know you we're so excited again mansfield on the 19th of november and 
Bell Fountain on the 21st of November. They're going to be amazing shows. People can go to shinefmohio.com to get tickets. And where can they go to get connected to you? They can go to Instagram or TikTok, uh, Stephen Stanley Music. Awesome. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, hey, thanks for talking with us today. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you for having me. Yep. We'll see you this weekend. I see you this weekend. Bye. Bye.